First is new to the Friday Night Thunder scoreboard show, and we welcome in the fine folks listening in on WDXE in Lawrenceburg. Cody Rose, the play-by-play voice for the Lawrence County Wildcats, joins us. Cody, welcome in to the Friday Night Thunder scoreboard show. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Thanks for having me on the show. You had another tough, tough fought game tonight. Lawrence County has had two tough battles to open the season. This is a team that at zero and two, though, is is pretty talented. I think. Yeah, Dennis, you're right. You know, last week Lawrence County led for most of the game over Columbia Central, and actually led for all but the final forty seconds. And even the team didn't lay down there. They battled back and actually had a chance to win it with a second left on the five yard line. And they tried to get that 28-year monkey off their back with Columbia Central. But, you know, Coach David Marshall did a really great job this week preparing the team. You know, the battle for the Cowbell is a a long rivalry between Giles County and Lawrence County. Lawrence County actually started the game off really strong. The keys in our broadcast the pregame show, we said that Lawrence County had to limit the number of stats that Giles County took because, you know, that Giles County offense is just so talented. And, you know, Lawrence County did a great job as they kept the ball the first 10 minutes and 30 seconds of that first quarter and jumped out to a quick 9 to nothing lead. However, Giles County, that talented offense, once they touched the ball, uh, you know, with Cameron Ordway and Trevor Holder, you know, they ran off 21 at answered points and never really looked back. We're talking to Cody Rose, the play-by-play voice for WDXE in Lawrence County. Uh, he is the voice of the Lawrence County Wildcats, but everybody around here just says, Lawrenceburg, uh, <laughs> Cody, uh, you guys, uh, you guys have had your uh, a rivalry game here, and and really two rivalries because I know that that Highway Forty Three rivalry with Columbia, and now the Cowbell game, uh, it's got to be Coach Marston's got to be, uh, he's got to do some magic this week to keep the spirits up and and keep this team hungry, doesn't he? Yeah, you know you're right, Dennis, and I was looking at you know Hardin County, and they hung up fifty five points against the Memphis team in week zero, so they've definitely got a, a talented team from what I understand runs the spread. So it's going to be, you know, three straight weeks against a tough opponent. So Hardin County comes to town, you know, looking for a win, and, you know, Lawrence County's going to have to play tough to try to pick up that first win. Cody, we appreciate you. We appreciate uh, the fine folks in Lawrenceburg, and we're tickled to death to get WDXE on the scoreboard show. Uh, good luck in your preparations for. Uh, and I'm glad you're feeling better. You 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 back you back to 100. percent You you were playing hurt tonight, weren't you? Uh, no, I had I had a, a cold last week, but I'm just about over it now. All right, good deal. Uh, I will uh, uh, I will talk to you sometime, probably via email in the next day or two. And uh, we'll look forward to talking to you again next week, okay? All right. Thank you, Dennis. Great job as always. All right. Cody Rose of WDXE in Lawrenceburg. Glad to get them on, uh, get get all of that District 8. We're going to get all of District 8 right before we break away uh, yeah. and, and go into the new classification.